What's up, Cop Gang? All right, so today we're doing this problem here. So we got this C-shaped rod, and it wants us to find the centroid of the rod. <clears throat> so the centroid, that's X bar and Y bar, so we're finding the X center of mass and the Y center of mass. So let's get started. <clears throat> so right away, the first thing we can do is look for symmetry. So looking at our diagram here, we see that the symmetry is across the X axis. So it's symmetric across the X axis, which means that the Y center of mass is gonna be equal to zero. And that's pretty easy to tell right away just because whatever's on the top is on the bottom, we know that that's gonna mean the center mass of y is gonna be at zero. <clears throat> so right away we know y bar is equal to zero. So there you go, so one part of the way done, so let's go ahead and do the next part. So x bar is not gonna be so easy because of course we're gonna to have to figure out how far this direction it is, and that's gonna be a little more difficult. So to do that, we're gonna make a little table. So what's our table gonna look like? <clears throat> so our table's gonna have, um, the table is going to be different depending on the problem, but for this one, because we have a line segment, we're going to have segment, we're going to have the length in millimeters. You can convert to meters first if you'd like to. Then we're going to have x tilde, which is the center mass of the segment, and that'll be found out later. And then we're also going to have x tilde times L and this will be in millimeters squared. This is in millimeters. <clears throat> so this will make more sense why you need this later. So let's just go ahead and work on filling in this table. So let's start with the segment. So we want to find three segments. So let's break this drawing up into three segments. That's going to be easy. So when you're making segments, you want to basically pick choices. That is just each one is a distinct function. So one thing we're going to do is we're going to label this function. So let's label this part section three, or let's label this section one. So the section one is this for first curve. Section two is this straight line. And then section three is this last curve. So there we go. So now we have segment one, two, and three. So now we need to find the lengths of these segments. So segment two is easy enough. We know that that's 200 millimeters. But how about segment one and three? Well, segment one, one, and three, we know it's kind of the same as the circumference of a circle. So circumference is equal to two pi radius, but in this case, we have half a circumference for each one of these. So segment one is equal to one half two pi, and then its radius is 150 millimeters. And then same thing for two. Two is also equal to that. So if you do the math on this, this length is 471 millimeters. So we know that this is 471, and we know that this is 471. So now we need to find the x center of mass. So for two, that's gonna be easy enough. It's a straight line, and it's on x is equal to zero, so we know that its center of mass is gonna be at x is equal to zero. So then for one and three, well, we can basically make the assumption, right, because this is symmetric across this, this center of its circle here. So its center of mass is probably gonna be in the center, which is gonna be the radius of the circle, which is 150 millimeters. So here, x bar is 150 x bar is 150. So now we're going to multiply these numbers together. So x tilde times L is going to be 7,650. 200 times 0 is 0. And then same thing here, 7,650. So now that we have this table, we have everything we need to find x bar. So x bar is equal to the sum of the x tilde l's over the sum of the lengths. So we have the lengths, and we have the l tilde, or x tilde lengths. So now we just have to plug it in. So sum of these up, so it's gonna be 7,650 plus zero plus 7,650. And then sum of the lengths, 471 plus 200 plus 471. Right, easy enough. And then you should find the x tilde is equal to 124 millimeters. So there we go, we have y bar and we have x bar. So writing this, uh, basically our center is gonna be 124 millimeters, zero millimeters. And that would be x bar, y bar. So there you go, so however you wanna write it, that's your answer, simple enough. And yeah, so if you're having trouble with statics, feel free to check out my channel. I've got a whole lot more videos on all these topics. And yeah, see you in the next one. Peace.